I'm Brayden. And I'm Joey. And, and welcome, welcome to, to Broadcast, Broadcast 15. 15. First up, we have Brookwood Trivia with Brayden and Sean. Hi, I'm Sean. And I'm Brayden. And today we're uh, doing video game trivia. So now we are here with... Paxton. So, what's Minecraft's favorite color? Pink. <laughs> Incorrect. Tangerine. Okay. So, we're here with... Mason Shield. Okay. What was the original name for Minecraft? Um. Take a wild guess. I don't exactly know. Okay. The original name for Minecraft was Cave Game. Thought it was something. Okay, so uh now we are here with Lily. And why do you think Waluigi wasn't in Smash? I don't know. Why? I don't know. I'm not gonna say something I don't know. Alright. Waluigi wasn't in the game. Because Waluigi wasn't created by the creator of Smash, and the creator is mean. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. <laughs> I don't know yeah, anything again. about video games, but cool. Again. Right, we're here with oh my God. Mr. Granahan. <laughs> and who is the most powerful character in Smash? I don't know. Mm. Good guess. It's actually Kirby. <laughs> that was some good trivia. Next up, we have sports with Cole. Cool. And welcome to sports. Up first is some NFL trades. Wide receiver Antonio Brown has been traded to the Oakland Raiders. He was on the Pittsburgh Steelers. Quarterback Joe Flacco was traded to the Broncos. He was on the Ravens. And finally, wide receiver Odell Beckham Jr. has been traded to the Browns. He was on the New York Giants. Now for NBA. Right now, the Golden State Warriors are number one in the West, and the Milwaukee Bucks are number one in the East. For baseball, spring training just came back. This will go on until about the end of March. And now for Brookwood Sports. Boys and girls A-team volleyball are in the playoffs. Good luck to them all. That's all for sports. Bye. Good luck to the girls volleyball team at their tournament tonight. Next up, we have fitness with Garner, Jackson, and Xander. Hey, guys. Today, I'm here with Jackson. And I'm here with Jackson. And today, we're going to be teaching you guys how to do simple workouts such as bench press, curls, and some other simple stuff. So let's get started. Okay, so step one, when you're doing bench presses, you're gonna wanna have your hands three widths apart, and you're just gonna wanna lift the bar up and bring it down to where it touches your chest. But while you're doing it, you're gonna wanna do it very slowly. And then when you bring it back up, you're gonna wanna bring it down, or bring it up very slowly. And you're gonna wanna place it back on these bars. And you can add different amount of weights depending on how strong you are. And uh, the weights look like this. But you can add Xander. They look like this. Yeah. So I'll show you an example on how to do one of them. So you're going to want to slowly bring it up, slowly bring it back down, and then bring it up again slowly and just place it back down. And you can do different amount of reps and sets of each weight you do, and yeah. Hey guys, today we're gonna be doing some bicep curls. So you're gonna grab your weight, depending how strong you are. So I'm doing 15. All right, so you're gonna wanna keep your hands even and just go slowly through. And you're gonna wanna do like, 10 to 15 reps of just straight these. So, and you can increase your weight as you go on. So, yeah. Hey guys, it's Jackson, and today I'm gonna teach you all how to do some yoga. And these are my three favorite poses. So, first one's pretty simple. It's like this. It's called the T pose. You just stand here. Minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, years, decades, centuries. 
you get the point. The next one is the one that makes me look cute. Ready? Here we go. It's called the downward thing. Go like this. <laughs> that was cute. Now, I'm going to do one last one. And it's called nap time. First thing you do, you want to go down, you want to lay, and you're going to take a nap. Not so. That's all, That's all for today. Bye. Thanks for all the fitness information. Next up, we have Real or Fake News with Chris, Adam, and Kara. I'm Chris. I am Adam. And I'm Kara. Welcome to F Real or Fake. <laughs> to start off, a man from Houston, Texas was taking a sh stroll down the street with his golden retriever. Then the dog got distracted by a rabbit ca crossing Southport Drive, and the dog ran away. Then a man in a silver van pulled up. The man said, if you catch your runaway dog and give him to me, you, I will give you $3,000. The man actually gives him the dog after finding him in the neighbor Marie's yard. Is this story real or fake? This story is fake. The second story is a Kylie catfish. A Russian woman pretended to be the real Kylie Jenner. She had the exact same looks and the lips. She set up a public event to meet her fans, but she wasn't the real Kylie. Is this story real or fake? This story is real. A rumor has been going around that Christopher Nelson Winter got an A on his math quiz. Is this story real or fake? This story is real. Go me. That's all for real or fake. Bye. Bye. Well, those were some tricky questions. Next up, we have Entertainment with AJ. Hi, my name is AJ, and welcome to Entertainment. And I will be talking about my top 10 favorite things in the Transformers franchise. The first thing is Bumblebee, the sixth Transformers movie in the Michael Bay movie series. This movie was better than all the other five movies. Just look at the Rotten Tomato score. It has good CGI and perfected the Transformers' voices. It is Dylan O'Brien playing Bumblebee, John Cena as Agent Burns, and Angela Bessette as Shatter, Justin Theorex as Dropkick, and Peter Cullen as Optimus Prime for like a total of two minutes. So the second thing is Transformer Shattered Glass. Shattered Glass is an alternate universe where the Autobots are evil and the Decepticons are good. Optimus Prime is the merciless con grew and with his evil Autobots fighting the heroic Megatron with his galaxy protecting Decepticons. For the third thing, I will be talk talking about Transformers 4, Age of Extinction. This is the fourth movie in the Michael Bay series and is the and is the second best movie because of one thing, the villain Lockdown. Played by Mark Ryan, this villain is terrifying and Mark Ryan's version of Lockdown is awesome. P it's Peter Cole is Optimus Again, Mark Wahlberg as Kate Yeager, Frank Wilker as Galvatron, and John Goodman as how work with Mark Ryan on, in this movie. The next item is Transformers Prime. Prime is the next thing on this list. This is actually my favorite thing in the entire franchise. Peter Cullen, as you know who, as you know who, Optimus obviously, Frank Wilker as Megatron and Soundwave, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson as Cliff Jumper in two episodes. The show is completely 3D animation, and it's awesome. The next item is the IDW, is IDW Publishing. IDW is a comic publisher that makes a lot of Transformer comics, like More Than Meets the Eye and Robots in Disguise, both of which have en ended, but I have the entire series. The entire continuity is dead, sadly, but I still love IDW. Number, the next item is Transformers Animated. This has been classified as the best show in the franchise by fans. It stars David K as Optimus Prime and Megatron played by Corey Burton. I spent 20 minutes to try and figure out who played Megatron. This show is all in 2D animation and is amazing. Next up is Combiner Wars. Combiner Wars is a toy is a toy line that showed five figures combining into one giant robot called a Combiner. The most popular two is D the Decepticon Devastator and the Autobot Superior. More Combiners were released. All the Combiners that were released, including the two I just mentioned, 
Optimus Maximus, Menasaur, Bruticus, Leo Kaiser, Wreckage, Defensor, and many more I'm sure that exist in a mist. All in all, I love this toy line. For the seventh, for the next item, I will be talking about the 1986 movie. The actual best movie, never mind, Optimus dies. Optimus is played by Peter Cullen, as usual. Megatron is played by Frank Wel Frank Welker, but he is literally but he's replaced literally ten minutes later by Leonard Nim Nimi as Galvatron. Starscream is played by Christopher Collins, comparing the 1986 movie to the live action movies of now. The live action movies are bad comedy. The next item is Beast Force. Beast Wars was an in, was entirely th 3D animated from 19 released in 1998. The animation wasn't the best but was definitely a part of my childhood. How you may ask? Long answer online streaming services. Short answer Netflix. This show stars Gary Chalk as Optimus Primal, Ian James Corlett as Cheater, David Kay as Megatron, and Scott McNeil as Dinobot, Rattrap, and Waspinner. These names are totally original. I mean, seriously, the only character with an original name is Depth Charge. Turns into a Stingray. Next up is Masterpiece. Masterpiece is a toy line that is <laughs> made by Takara Tome all the way in Japan. Takara wanted to make the Transformer toys more show accurate. They, they have made Optimus, Megatron, an OK Starscream figure, Bumblebee, Prowl, Ironhide, and many, many more. They have like eight different Optimus Prime figures. What the heck? I like this toy line because I watched the 1980 show 4 growing up because it was on Netflix, and I have the first season and half the second season on DVD. The, the final item on the list are the songs that show up in the TV shows and the movies. For the first three live-action films, Linkin Park had four songs. For the fourth movie, Imagine Dragons made a song called Battle Cry, and the 1986 movie had Stan Bush, NRG, and Weird Al songs that had, that had songs movie all fitting the tone of the scene. The song Instruments of Destruction was placed when the Decepticons attacked an Autobot ship, the song Dare by Stan Bush was played whenever there was a chase scene, and the song The Touch was played for when Optimus fought the Decepticons in Autobot City, and when Hot Rod became Rodimus Prime and defeated Galvatron. That's all for entertainment. Bye. Wow, that was some good information on the Transformer movies. Next up, we have comedy with Joey B, myself, and Brayden. Hi, I'm, I'm Joey. Joey. And I'm Brayden. Today we're going to be talking about some jokes. Why did the Clydesdale give give the pony a glass of water? Why, Joey? Because he was a little horse. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. Oh. Okay, Brayden. Suppose you have two dollars. Okay, you ask your mother for another dollar. Now, how many? How much? How many dollars do you have? Still two dollars. Why? Because my mom wouldn't give me any money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <sighs> ha. I got my friend a fridge for his birthday. I can't wait to see his face light up when he opens it. <laughs> How do you throw a space party? How do you? You plan it. Okay, that was a bit cringe. <laughs> what do you call an alligator detective? What? An investigator. Ha ha ha! Comedy! Why did the scarecrow win an award? Why? Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> That's all for comedy. Bye. Bye. Wow, those are some corny jokes. Next up, we have featured artist with Landon. Hi, I'm Landon, and in today's video, I'll be telling you about the featured art projects. Up first, we have the feather art inside of the main hallway, which sixth grade helped hang up. So thank you. Second is my personal favorite, by Killian Watley in seventh grade, with his tubes. Last but not least, made by a sixth grader named Abigail Winner. She made a snowy tree project with rainbow skies. That may not be what it's called, but that's what I call it. That's it for featured art. Good job to those artists. Next up, we have a DIY with Addy. Hi, I'm Addy, and I'm going to make a bracelet. The things that you will need are string. I will be using 
the colors purple and blue, and then tape. First, you number them. The one that I am putting into a four is three, the middle one is two, and the last one is one. You put three over two and one, then you put one above three. Then you cross one, under two, and three, and then you pull one and three, and then repeat until you are done. So I'm doing the crossover, and then the pull together, cross, pull together, cross, pull together, cross, pull together, and then you do the same. I had to put a knot in my, I had to put purple on blue in a knot because one of the blue strings was smaller than the other, so I had to make do what I had. And then I also had to um, twist the strings together to make this finish, to make sure it like goes together, like, cause then you will have it turned around and then, and then I usually, it usually makes me mad. So that's what I did personally. And then that did get in the way a little bit, but then it became fine. So I just continued until I got the finished product, which then I, the tape was messing me up a lot because it was school tape. And then, um, and then once I was finished with it, like with the pattern, I had to cut the purple string looser. That's even a word. Because I couldn't tie it anymore. And then what I did was cut it to the same size and then it tied it together. That's all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Wow, I didn't know you could make a bracelet like that. Next up, we have open topic with Victor and Caden. Hello everybody, I'm Caden. And I'm Victor. And welcome back to another week of open topic. In this week's open topic, it's going to be everything in reverse. Well, that's the end of Broadcast 15. Bye. And then you, you said I'm still with that. Cole. I don't know what to say. <laughs> yeah. So like, cause I don't know who would be right. 
I uh, could can't read. Can I can't read. If you know what I mean, I'm a literate G. Dropped out in grade three. I can't read.